So there's definitely one thing I want to say about this movie. One particular camera editing thing that I really, really, really hate is digital snap zooms. <laughs> I hate it. I hate that kind of weird editing camera thing. I hate it. James Cameron uses it like six or so times in this movie. I I hated it. There was times where he would use it like like right after right after doing it, he would use it again. And it's just like, no, stop. It looks bad. Stop. Hey guys, Blazy here, and it's hot. So please forgive me. I'm doing this first thing in the morning before it starts to get to before it gets really, really hot. So please forgive me. But welcome to my lazy Blazy review of Avatar 2: The Way of Water. And this was the only blue shirt I had. I was like, yeah, let's wear blue because that's what I do sometimes. It's the only one I had. I'm just I know scary. <laughs> anyway, that's not important. Uh, so yeah, I went and saw Avatar 2 for my birthday, because uh, I remember doing it for the first movie all those years ago, years and years, god damn, so many years. So, I do want to start off with saying, I love how passionate James Cameron is about this movie. I love that, like he really is trying to make this world, you know, like he does, he made his own language for the Navi, comes up with all the fauna, he comes up with all the animals, but not only that, like he works out like what the gravity is like on the planet, and how everything works, it's like he really, really worked on all this, he even wrote up a script for like Avatar 1.5, and like as to everything that I did between 1 and 2, and like would like and put and gave that to the actors and just like this is what you guys were doing just so they could all be catched up and like he's really thought about this really thought about it and i absolutely love that it's he's a true artist in that sense and i get why on twitter like he talks about like how crappy marvel movies are he's he's one of them he's one of them and to a point i get it i i, I absolutely do 100 percent get it because i'm so sick of marvel stuff and none of those directors really, really care because they don't, they don't, like, want to do these kind of movies. They get kind of just like, oh, we managed to get a hold of this director and he's going to do that movie for us. This director's going to do that movie. It's not the directors, like, deciding, I want to do a Spider-Man film. I want to do an Iron Man film. It's the studio. It's Marvel Studio. That it's just like, we're going to do this timeline, and then just bring in these directors, these writers to do it. And I hate that. I really, really hate that. It really shows, to me, it says there's no passion in the directors and everything like that. They just get hired on to do it. They don't, they're not the ones deciding to do it, kind of thing. So, yeah, basically, I just want to say that. I 100% I appreciate James Cameron's love for this world and what he's tried to do so is it worth it is it worth it after all this weight kind of sorta i okay so obviously the visuals the visuals are beautiful it is a very beautiful well done film because with marvel cgi it's not good i don't like marvel cgi it's so basic cgi if there's it hasn't evolved in over 10 15 years or whatever how long marvel's been going on for it still feels like iron man 1 cgi nothing's really really improved probably just the amount of cgi they can have on screen is better <laughs> But it hasn't really improved that much. And, and that's my biggest issue in Marvel, Marvel CGI. Is that it, it's very obviously CGI. There's some really bad moments in a lot of, a lot of uh, Marvel films. There's a lot of bad moments that just stand out to me as bad CGI. And that's kind of... I don't feel anything when it's CGI. I don't care when it's all just CGI. I don't know why. It's just, it's just how I feel. 
Um, it's like whenever I see gore, in, that's just CGI, like in the latest uh, Predator movie, Prey. I did not care about the gore at all, because it's all just CGI, CGI blood and everything, and so I don't feel anything, I don't care. So, I, I wondered how I would feel about this movie being all CGI, for at least like 99% of it anyway. Uh, but, it's really, really good CGI. You could really trick your blood trick <laughs> you could really trick your brain into thinking the navi are real because they look so good most of the time like all like there are a couple little moments but for the most part no they look really 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 good um and then once they leave the jungle the water stuff the water looks so good there's some really good scenes with the water uh, yeah, he, he did a really good job with the water, but just all the creature, all the new creatures look great. I, I love the little pleosaur that's in the trailer, the, the new little, new huge whale uh, creatures are really cool. Uh, yeah, the, in terms of the effects, it's amazing to look at, it's really, really good. But again, there are a couple little moments, like... Uh, like ragdoll physics, where like, there's an explosion and humans go flying off. The, the humans will always look really bad. The CGI on them was not good. <laughs> like, they probably could have just used real actors and kind of just, you know, pulled them on a thing and kind of had them fly off or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how filmmaking works, kind of, sort of. I, I kind of make things, so I kind of do. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that kind of stuff, that looked kind of bad. There's a couple times where the frame rate looks weird. And that's because, like, I think it's because it's made for 3D and just, uh, he uses, like, a specific 3D camera. Um, I think as well it was shot at a higher frame rate. So th there's just a couple little moments where it just looks kind of weird on the eyes. I can't really explain it. It just kind of looks weird on the eyes, and I didn't like that. Um, I've, I haven't really heard people talk about it, but... That was something that was just a bit weird to me. So yeah, this is going to be just a non-spoiler review as well. Not going to spoil anything. But uh, there'll be just like, I will go through like the basic story and all that kind of sort of. Yeah, in terms of effects, it's an amazing movie. There are just a couple little things, but for the most part, it's a very beautiful, beautiful film. Absolutely. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here for Pandora. That's what I, I love about the first Avatar movie is Pandora, the world. Um, like, I, I do give, like, the first, pa first Avatar movie, um, good 9 out of 10, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, I don't know, uh, now that I'm just thinking about, it's been a long time since I've watched it, yeah, no, I'll give it a good 9 out of 10 for sure, um, it's a great movie, it's absolutely great, but I love the look of it, I absolutely love, like, how, how beautiful Pandora is, and in a way, we didn't get as much of, like, look how beautiful this is. In, in a way, in a way, there definitely felt like it needed to be a little bit more, kind of, sort of, it's, it's hard to explain, because we do definitely get it, we absolutely do, but I feel like it just needed a little bit more, but it's because it was focusing on it, the new story, which the story is basically uh, Jake Sully, uh, the main character, and uh, Nitriti, 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 I don't know, it's, it's first thing in the morning, I can't remember names, I can't remember my own name, <laughs> him, him and, and his wife, Navi wife, now have kids, uh, and so Jake kind of wants to protect the kids now, uh, because they're still kind of fighting off with the humans, everything's kind of, like, it went okay for a while, but when the humans came back, it just stopped, murdering people and they're just like okay I want to protect my family because now they're like kind of more after me because I'm like the leader I'm one in charge and so he leaves to go off to uh the wa a water tribe basically and just ends up at, and so that's where all the water stuff comes in is he because he goes off with his family and to protect them and ends up in a, at a water tribe place and it takes quite a while to get there because it, it is a three hour long movie it's three hours and 12 minutes or something like that and it, it, there are times when it does feel like that. It does kind of drag on now and then. But there's generally always something happening. There's something happening, whether it be in the action or the visuals. 
and when, when it's like, you know, nice and beautiful on screen, you're kind of just paying attention because it looks so good. So it's not so bad that it's a three hour long movie. It's really not. There are definitely times where it's just like, they're on a boat. Oh, now they're off a boat. Oh, they're now they're back on the boat. Oh, they're back off it again. Oh, now they're on another boat. And it, it kind of does drag a little here and there. Again, it's not so bad though. Because you are kind of just invested by the end of the movie. The last half of it is really, really good. And you're kind of just invested in what's happening. Uh, but yeah, so it's got a lot of new characters, like, with all the kids. I think it's like, he has, like, four kids. And then there's uh, the human character named Spider. <laughs> um, who, who I kind of liked. I didn't, I didn't mind him too much. Um, that, that's actually something I will actually mention now, actually. For those who have watched it, it's not much of a spoiler. But it's just the, the kids call themselves, like, will call each other bro and cuz a lot. And people are hating it because it's so like, oh, why are they talking like, 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 why are they talking English and like talking like boy cars? Like, why are they talking like that? It's because that's how kids talk. They talk like that when it's like a brother from another mother, essentially, because, you know, because uh, the kid isn't related to them. But he's kind of adopted, kind of not. He's kind of just there. <laughs> And, and so they're calling him like cuz and bro and all that. It's just like, yeah, that's how kids talk. That's especially, like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I don't understand why people hate it so much, because it's, that's just how people talk, you know, just get over it. <laughs> which, which is another thing, another thing I want to, I, I want to just talk about for a second here, is in the movie, uh, they are talking English, and people are complaining on, on TikTok, because TikTok, TikTok are full of idiots, they're absolutely full of idiots, it actually Peace me off. It pisses me off. <laughs> it pisses me off how stupid people are on TikTok. Because a lot of people are like, oh, why are we talking English? It's so weird. I wanted to hear more Navi language. But they explain that right at the start of the film that Jake Sully, like, they're talking in Navi, but then, like, he's doing, like, um, a voiceover and saying that, like, he's gotten so good at Navi and understanding the language now. That it just comes in like English to him because he's an English speaker. And it it just sounds like speaking English to him now because he's just that good at it. And so then when they're talking Navi, it slowly changes to English to show that to show that he understands the language so well now. And for some reason, people on TikTok did not understand that. How? Dumb are you? How dumb are you? It was so obvious. It was, it was explained at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. And then people are like, oh, why are they doing like human words? You know, like boy, cars and all that. It's like, well, because it's translated from Navi into English. That's why. <laughs> oh God, it's so stupid. It's so stupid how, how stupid people are. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very beautiful film. The, yeah, and then the plot itself. There are things in the story that are very tropey. There's a lot of tropes. There's a lot of basic stuff. And that's what's kind of disappointing about it. Because, you know, James Cameron was all like, this film is going to be better than any Marvel film. It's going to be better than just anything, it's got to be like a great, amazing story, and all the actors were just like, it's an amazing storyline, but it's the, it's one of the most basic storylines out there, there's so many basic plot points that happen, like, one of the son characters gets interested in one of the girls, one of the girls in the new tribe, and you have like, two, two, uh, dickish, uh, boys there, and then the one girl, and he, that's the one he kind of falls in love with. And the two the two boys will be hella woo to him and just like, oh, call him names and all that. While the girl will be like, oh, leave him alone. And that kind of trope is so basic. It's so basic. And there's so many basic kind of storylines where it's just like, James Cameron, maybe you're not as good at, at storytelling as you think. Like, because like, he absolutely created this amazing world in Pandora. But the story within it is just so basic 
that I feel like that's like the last thing he thought about. Uh, like, he, that's the last thing he kind of cared about was that initial story. And that is absolutely the problem. Uh, but is that a bad thing? I, I don't mind tropes when it's done well or done in a good movie. And it is a good movie. So I don't mind it. I myself don't mind tropes like that if done well. And it is. It generally is. And so I did enjoy this movie. It's got great visuals, great great acting for the most part. And um, uh, the storytelling is basic, but I still enjoyed it. I didn't feel very emotional in it though like i really did feel very emotionally invested in the characters not not as much as i wanted to but there is a there is something that happens at the end and i didn't give a crap at all i didn't feel anything and that was kind of a bit of a problem but but i will say there is a a i i don't know what they're called i i do apologize I, and I can't remember names at the moment. It's been a couple of days since I saw the movie. Um, and I did bother looking at my phone. I'm doing this first thing in the morning, as I said. Just before it gets hot. Which it is. It's getting hotter. I, I, I need to stop doing this video now. It's already apparently 16 minutes. About to hit 17. And it's 17 minutes now. <laughs> Going by my voice, uh, my recording thing down there on my laptop. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> um... Uh, what was I saying? I forgot. Oh, there, there's um, one one whale character. So it's this big underwater whale. And I was so invested in that story there. That storyline there. That character, that whale. I was so emotionally invested. They do this whole... When, when you first kind of uh, greeted by it and, and um, uh, little story things happen there. That's when I started to get really emotional. Because it gave me How to Train Your Dragon vibes. It gave me, like, Gilmon and Takato vibes. It gave me Hiccup and Toothless vibes. I love that kind of stuff. And so I felt so invested at that moment. And I absolutely did get emotional. And definitely there's, like, a later moment in the movie where I'm just like, Oh, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, whoo, <laughs> it's, in yeah, like, I, I felt so emotionally invested in the whale <laughs> compared to the family. I didn't care about family. I cared about the whale, <laughs> which I guess is the point of this movie. The first movie was about the forest and, like, humans destroying forests to get what they want and do the resources. They don't care what they kill or, you know, what gets in their way. They'll go for it. And this movie is all about the water and how we treat the the animal life there and the pollution and all that kind of stuff. That's what this movie is about. And they absolutely do one moment with one of the with one of the whales. That's very much just on the nose, all about you know people who do whaling and kill the, kill these beautiful creatures for zero reason, or like you know their reason is just pointless or dumb and. Uh, they, they do it and there's like there's a moment where all the humans clap and it, it's very fucking sad it's hugely sad kind of moment and they they drag it out to really hammer in this message of just like humans are stupid <laughs> and it, it, it did definitely got me it definitely got to me so yeah well done James Cameron you you understood that part of the assignment because he, he's very much like protect the oceans. He's he 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 he, he yeah, looks after places. He gives money to charities and to protect protect oceans, protect the land and all that. And so yeah, that's what he's doing. He's telling that story, and it definitely works <laughs> at, at those kind of points. But yeah, um, I did like the movie. It's. I, I do want to kind of end it here, so I do apologise if I didn't really get through a whole lot of it. There, there is a lot to talk about, but that would be going into spoilers. So, by not going into spoilers, I will say, it's a good movie. It's a solid movie. I will give it... Because, yeah, will I be like that? Will I be like that? Hmm. 
Yeah, I feel... Mm. No, you know what? I'm going to give this movie... I'm going to give Avatar 2 a 9 out of 10 foxes. I have been seeing people, a lot of people, giving it like an 8 out of 10. And I and I 100% understand that. I I think that's a pretty good score for it. It's an 8 out of 10 when it comes to like the story anyway. But I will admit, I got really invested with the whale character. So I'm kind of there for that. I'm giving an extra point on that character pretty much. <laughs> And for the most part, I did kind of like the new kids. There's a couple cool little things there that's setting up for the new for the next movies, and that's what I'm kind of excited for to see where the second one goes. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna be interesting. But yeah, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to our channel because I love you. If you do, hit that bell icon. And this fox says, "Be who you want to be." Alright, guys, bye for now. Eee.